if we start looking just even in sit and we're thinking about those principles of um, postural orientation and alignment of body segments, um, so we're, we're already getting a picture that he's got his thorax back in space relative to his pelvis, right? So sort of um, a little bit kyphotic through his T-spine. He's relatively flat through his lumbar spine. And then it looks, and I think I'll have to put my hands on to feel, but it looks to, as though potentially he's sort of dumping himself into the left under. So if I'm coming in under your hips here, Chris, mm -hmm. I'm gonna confirm that just to feel what is the pressure under each of my hands. And he's certainly heavier under his left IT and he's also backwardly rotated on the left hemipelvis compared to the right hemipelvis when we're looking here. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Um, and then in terms of, you know, postural activity in the trunk when he's just sitting at rest here, He's a little bit more vertically oriented through his right side here. Can everybody see that? He's using a bit of elevation through his right shoulder and the left shoulder girdle is, um, the, is protracted forward and he's a bit internally rotated and certainly a, less of a picture of alignment. So when we're looking at alignment posteriorly here, um, ideally, we're seeking to see the inferior angle of the scapula over the IT. So those would be your landmarks for looking um, of alignment through each side. So he's a bit closer to that on the right. So sorry, Chris, I'm going to come okay. around here and feel. Yeah, they're, warm. Okay. they're not, yeah, they're warm. I'm sweating along with you, don't worry. <coughs> okay, so the inferior angle of his scapula out here, not in line with the IT. But if we come to this one, out here, more malaligned, right? Mm -hmm.